Hi, and welcome back to the series of Simmons Tutorials. So far, you've learned how to read a crosstab report, and you are well on your way to becoming experts at creating your own interesting and insightful target definitions in Simmons. Once you have those insights and have created this unique target definition, the next step is to understand how these people engage with media. Just as you did when getting to an understanding of your consumer, you get to media insights by starting by casting a wide net. That's where quintiles come in. I know quintiles sound scary and complicated and super mathematical, but in reality it's really quite a simple concept. Quin simply means five. You've heard of quintuplets, right? Five babies all born at the same time. So quintile really just means a fifth. And no, I don't mean of whiskey. A quintile refers to a group evenly divided into fifths. In order to put consumer media usage into some kind of context, we as an industry have chosen to look at how audiences consume media by breaking them down into five equal groups. The top fifth, what we call quintile one, consumes the most amount of that medium, whether it be the most hours of TV viewing or the greatest number of magazines read or the most amount of time spent on online. Quintile represents the top 20% of people. Quintile 2 represents the next 20, quintile 3 the next 20 percent, until we get to quintile 5, those people who have the least engagement with that particular medium. The chart here is a simple visualization of how the TV quintiles break down. Those in quintile 1, those who spend the most amount of time watching TV, watch more than 22 hours each week. Conversely, the lightest viewers, those who fall in quintile 5, watch the least amount of TV, or less than two and a half hours per week. Bear in mind, even those in quintile 5 do watch some TV, so even the lowest quintile, you do have an opportunity to reach them with your television ad, and we'll talk about that more later. So how does this relate back to your target audience? Well, imagine that you're working on a client that's trying to reach a working mom, one who tries hard to feed her children nutritious meals. We'll look at how um, that is coded here. If you remember when you go into Simmons to code your audiences, you can save that definition for later reference. By going to the Definitions tab, I can scroll down and find where I coded my nutritious mom just a couple days ago. And I'm going to find her right here. So I bring up my nutritious mom, I drag this target down to my code box, and I don't understand what all these codes mean. I don't speak Simmons. So if I click on the Define button, that Define button is going to give me um, the definition that I've used to define my target audience. The statements that I chose to look at was women and the parent of guardian of any children and agrees with the statement that nutritional value is the most important factor in the foods that I eat. So again, going back to my Simmons analysis, um, I'm going to take this definition and I'm going to move it into my column heading. Um, so I'm going to be analyzing um, what I'm calling nutritious moms. Now, it is my belief, based on my own personal experience, that because she's a working mom, she isn't watching television. And I'm trying very hard to sell my client on a digital-only plan. But my client is insisting on television. So the only way I'm going to be able to convince them to buy into my recommendation is to show them definitively that this woman is a light TV viewer. So I go to my quintile analysis. Uh, so here's how it works. I've already shown you how we broke the total population down into five equal groups. So each group um, represents 20% of this population watching a certain number of hours on television. Now what I want to know is whether or not my working mom, who wants to feed her family right, watches more or less TV than the average person. So I run the quintile report. If we go back to the Simmons analysis, I have my mom in my column heading. I go to my questions, and you'll see here a folder called Intermedia. Click on Intermedia, and you see another folder for Media Quintiles. If I pull down Media Quintiles, you'll see that you can run a crosstab against all media, radio, TV, magazines, internet. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to look at TV all day. But when you are doing your own, you want to look at all media. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to pull over TV all day. I'm going to double click on TV all day. Don't forget to click your question text along with your answer text, especially when you're coding uh, multiple media or you won't know which quintiles that you're looking at. Just as we did before, I'm going to highlight, shift, highlight, and drag all of this down into my rows. Uh, 
Now I can hit cross tab. Now reading a quintile cross tab is a bit more confusing. If you want the easy way out, which I generally do, just pay attention to the index numbers. So just so I don't get distracted here, I'm going to unclick all of these other uh, factors so I can just look at index. That's all you really need to know. Note that some indices are high and some indices are low. The index numbers here mean the same thing as they do in any other cross tab. A high index means she's more likely than average, and a low index means she's less likely than average. So in this case, she under indexes in our quintiles 1 and 2, and she's over indexing in quintiles 3 and 4. Remember, quintile 3 lies within that 90 to 110 range, so I'm not going to make any assumptions here. The index is just too close to 100 to uh, make any decisions either way. So what this means is that she is more likely to be a light TV viewer and less likely to be a uh, heavy TV viewer. This means that more than 20% of nutritious moms watch only watch between zero and two and a half hours of TV per week. So now I have a pretty strong um, case to take back to my client to demonstrate that TV might not be the best place to find our moms. Now, if to really understand what's going back, what's going on here, let's go back to our original graphic. If you recall, We were looking at the total population and breaking them up into five equal groups. In this instance, we've held the number of hours viewed constant. So the number of hours you spend watching TV in each quintile doesn't change. What does change is the population that we're looking at. So now you want to look at the vertical percentages. So we'll go back to our quintile and I'm going to click on vertical percentage. So I bring those back up. Uh, when you look down the total column here, you see that each of the vertical percentages are approximately 20% and very slightly, but they're broken up into their equal 20% characteristics. But if we look at the target column, we look at our uh, nutritious moms, the vertical percentages are changing here. Um, in quintile 5, we see that 24% of our nutritious moms are watching less than two and a half hours of television per week. Therefore, she over-indexes against the light TV viewing um, audience. It's that 24% divided by 20 that's getting us to our 120 index. So now I can go back to my client with my digital recommendation with a much strong argument in favor of my plan. Now we looked at this case in isolation of television just to demonstrate the concepts. But in reality, you're going to run quintiles against all media to see which media she is more or less engaged with. So I've created a chart that shows you quintile analysis across multiple media. So let's take a look at that now. Here's the quintiles uh, for television, cable TV, magazine, radio, and internet. Take a look at this chart for a minute. Which quintiles does she over-index for? Which quintiles does she under-index for? What type of assumptions uh, can you make for this, um, in this instance? Well, if we look, she's over-indexing she's over for light TV viewing in quintiles 4 and 5. She's over-indexing in the heavy um, quintiles for internet usage. So this is telling us that uh, she does engage much more in online media than she does in uh, television media. But remember, data is just directional. You must always go back to your objectives and create your strategy based on what you need to your campaign to do for you. But armed with this information, you can start to make informed choices about what media might be best suited for your campaign. Remember I mentioned earlier that even though she's under-indexing in some of these television media, she's still watching some TV. So what you want to do here is get into a deeper exploration. Start to understand what times of day she might be watching TV, or pro what programs or website genres she might be engaged with um, most often. You can even look at specific shows and websites. Remember, you want to cast a wide net continuously ask yourself questions, and find data that can provide you with the answers to those questions. Spend some time playing around with this for a while while it's still fresh in your mind. You might want to start by coding someone who looks very much like you and see if the quintiles matches your behavior. 
Uh, as usual, there's a list of um, some questions below. Take a look and play around with those. And thanks for watching this tutorial.